All right, we got five minutes on the clock. What is your name and the name of your podcast show? Donnie Bovine and Growth Mode. Dang, that's a great podcast show. Tell me what you talk about there. So uh, it, we're on our fourth uh, season of it. And in this season, we decided to change it all up. So I bring on phenomenal people and they coach me live about my business, teaching me how to scale and grow it. Get out of here. So you open up the kimono in your own personal business and coaching live. What is your fear when you before opening the kimono? Because a lot of times as a podcaster, we could, you know, it's all about the guest and we could kind of hide behind the mic. You flip the mic and camera on yourself. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. What was your greatest fear and how did you come up with the idea? I didn't really have any fear. Um uh what I realized is nobody wants to hear your Zoom conversation. Um, and most podcasts out there are two people just catching up on zoom and, uh, my show was even caught up in a little bit of that. And so I'm like, how do I flip this and bring real value to people? And so I was like, you know what? Some of my best episodes are when I got advice from people on there. So I said, what if we just flip the script and literally I used it and I can promise you some of the conversations I've got in, the DMs I've gotten from listeners are like, oh my God, I'm so glad you asked that question. Or the amount of advice that I've got that has pushed my business forward is insane. One of the guests, Mike Delk, uh, when we got off the show, he looks at me and goes, you realize people pay me $50,000 for the advice I just gave you? And I said, yep, <laughs> <Yes>. I do. <laughs> yeah. So it's been awesome. It's been yeah. really cool. We started Uncensored Advice for Men, uh, that show, and I got so much free consulting, free yep. therapy, free all that stuff because they were working on me, but I was asking questions for my audience and myself. Like, you're in the fourth season. At what point did you decide to flip that switch? Like, what was going on in your own life or business that made you want to do that? So we were in a season of business growth still, and there was a lot of business decisions that I was leaning heavy on a couple of mentors and a couple of coaches I have to figure out how do we really push the business forward. And I realized somewhere along the journey that I can't consume, right? I can't read books. I can't listen to business podcasts and the like, because unintentionally everything like became the silver bullet i'd read a book and all of a sudden like the whole business would be turned after the advice whatever i just read in that book right so as i'm in a growth phase i'm like i gotta turn off the noise but i'm like there's still got to be a place where i get information where i still get input where i'm still learning and moving forward so where do i do that and then i just looked at the amazing people that i get the opportunity like i just literally this morning as we record this i just recorded the guy who's got the streaming rights uh, for the Harry Potter Cursed Child Broadway that's now being released in the London and the US in wow. high schools. And we literally, we just talked through how the Broadway business and all the things that I can do in my business, it was mind blowing. Um, and now so much so I'm going to fly to freaking New York and go spend a day with him to go watch the Cursed Child on Broadway and stuff, you know. Nice. Um but but it's it's that type of thing is I needed an outlet where I could go get real cool advice. Um, but it was also an opportunity to be able to ask the questions I felt like my audience would really be into. You know what's so cool about this? And and we I found from like super high level coaches, consultants, and and, and people in general, is everybody who becomes an expert at something, they want to share it. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and so like a lot of times, like they're they're teaching you. And you know you're being coached and yeah this guy gets paid 50 grand afterwards they're thanking you aren't they oh every time every time and most times it's dude thank you for this style of podcast because most of them are like i don't ever get a chance to show this side of my business yeah um so it's it's been really really cool and and, and the number of guests now that have come on that have recognized some well-known names to come on my show because of this style because instead of hey tell me your story and all that stuff it's now freaking they're getting to show that they're what they're really good at yeah another show where they're going how i got started here's how i got started what book should i read here's what book you should write you're right. asking like, hey, here's my business, open kimono, fix yeah. it for me, right? <laughs> 100%. Super cool. All right. So one more time, what's the name of your show? Where can people find it? So Growth Mode, they can find it wherever they listen to podcasts. And guys, do me a favor. If you're still listening to this, help Josh out, share this episode out with other people and bring him the love. We know how hard it is to build an audience. Share the love for him. It'll mean everything. So Growth Mode, wherever you listen to podcasts. Boom. I accept. I receive. Thank you guys out there. Uh, we love you podcasters and potential podcasters. As always, reach out to our guests. Say thanks for this. And we did this all under five minutes. See you guys. All right.